April 17, 2018 marked two years since the release of the RU reference list. We are standing in front of the Purple Square, a significant landmark during the days of protesting that followed. The protests saw support from the student body and the international community. Mishka Wazar, a student journalist, reflects on where student activists are two years later. I don't see anything else happening and I don't think that the student activists who are currently here are willing to go through what we went through in the past to make a dent within the system. Because if we look at what has really been changed, the university is the same. Everything is going on exactly the same. I don't see anything happening because I think we're just exhausted with the way that we're being, we're being treated. On November 2017, two student activists were excluded for life following an internal disciplinary procedure. This led to the Rhodes War, a social media campaign against the university's decision. We spoke to Yolanda Dianti, one of the expelled, who believes that she risked her future for a good cause. And yet, you see, in 2017, 2018, the very same men that we stood up against um, and called for the university to take um, you know, serious measures into dealing with the issue, they get to move on with their lives, they get you know, to be good and become graduates, and our, our careers, our academic careers, essentially, are put on hold and are tarnished, even publicly, you know, because the university has gone up, out of its way to criminalize us, even in the media. We spoke to Sandy Siri Magadla and found out about the work that the Gender Action Project is doing in commemoration of the protests. We're hoping to um, have a solidarity stand or something in regards with the Rhodes War, specifically the Rhodes War, because our campus has not yet done anything to stand in solidarity, whereas other campuses such as UCT have, because the women in Rhodes War were part of our RU reference list, and that's the many reasons that they were excluded in this university. The Rhodes University management has received calls to attend to issues to do with rape culture, but student activists are not satisfied with the university's engagement. I am Bujne Green and this is Rhodes University.